to know the truth, turn back now. If you continue listening to this sad tale, you can't say I didn't warn you. I bet you think circuses are all fun and games. I bet you think all the circus freaks are people like you and me, who are having just as much fun performing as you are watching. I bet you think those freaks have always been like that, deformed and different that is. You think that clown with two heads was born like that. You think the singer with the goat legs got the animal parts because she was born without actual legs. You think the normal looking guy with the hair of the midnight sky is just another performer who ran away from home. But you don't care. You don't give a second thought to what the freaks are actually like. What the freaks did to make them join the circus. I'll bet that you don't know the pain and suffering they go through. You haven't heard their screams and cries in the night. You haven't heard them begging to die. You haven't smelled the stench of rotting flesh. You don't know anything, not a single thing. But that's what I'm going to tell you. If you don't want to know the truth, or you're not strong enough, turn back now. Let's start with how those freaks joined. But joined isn't the proper term, now is it? Not when every single freak was perfectly human and got kidnapped as kids who wanted to go see the circus themselves. That's right, kidnapped. Stolen off the streets against their unheard screams, cries and pleas for help. They're kicking, they're hitting, doing everything they could to get away, only to end up feeling hopelessly and becoming guinea pigs. Before the circus, there was Foster Child with the dark blue hair that had finally found a home with a mother who loved him. Sure, he may have been poor. Sure, he may have had a rough life. Sure, he could have died if left on the streets anyway. But that damned circus, that damned circus ruined all his chances and opportunities at living life. At living like an actual person, rather than some bloodthirsty animal. But no, no of course, they had to take him. They had to take him at the age of nine. He was just a child when they injected him with all those, all those things. And do you know what those things did to him? Do you? They turned him insane. Literally, he lost his mind. He became a legitimate cannibal who would have happily eaten another human being. A human being. And you know what? He liked it all. He liked the taste he could only get from human flesh. Actually, he preferred everything to be cold, raw, and human. He enjoyed feeling the blood swirl in his mouth and dribble down his chin. Isn't that just a lovely image? And do you know why that little boy was chosen to be experimented on? Why he, a poor little boy who had almost died on the streets, had to be chosen? Why? It was because he was a child who had yet to fill his life with good memories rather than thoughts of meat, blood and more meat. Now you have a taste of what I'm explaining. Now you know at least a small portion of the horrors. So. I'll ask again, would you like to turn back? Because 
I'm about to continue. There once was a little singer with the hair of pale turquoise. That girl came from a loving family with a mother, father and two little brothers whom she always played with. The girl's family was considered rich among many and perhaps it was the girl's extravagant clothing made of the finest materials attracted the ringmaster. Or perhaps the master heard her sing a joyful tune by going into the tent. Maybe it was her hair that felt like silk or her face which was picture perfect. No, no, none of that was it. Not even close. It's because she hadn't grown up. Do you know what they did to that girl? Do you have any idea? I'll tell you what. They detached her legs and none too gently. Then the girl, who once known as a child with a gorgeous face, with a voice to match, became the girl with legs that belonged to a goat. Do you have any idea how hard it is to live in such a deformed state? With legs that aren't even human? Because I know I can't even dream of how difficult that was. Just trying to imagine the suffering and horror that was brought to the diva who cried herself to sleep every night makes me hurt inside and want to cry as well. The pain. The pain would be so unbearable. I'm surprised you've made it this far. You must have a strong heart. But I'll tell you again. You can't turn back. Because I can assure you, things won't be getting better anytime soon. That clown with two heads. You were becoming a circus freak. Do you know what it was? Do you? Of course not. No one does. Not a single soul. Until now. That freak was two little kids. A set of twins. A boy and a girl who were inseparable since birth. They were best friends and were always together. And did you know that they had a mum and dad? Those kids had family. They had friends. They had an amazing future ahead of them. But all that was ruined. All because they went to that circus. All because they didn't walk away fast enough. Because they were children. And do you know what happened after? After their screams were muffled and they were chained and strapped to a metal table? They got butchered alive. They got limbs chopped off while they were conscious. And then they truly became inseparable. They really would always be together until the moment they died. Because the two children became one. They were sewn together. Lumps of flesh were sewn around them the whole process. And the stench of blood and death lingered in their nostrils for so long after. So long after. Just because they were cheerful children. But that isn't all. That's not even close to the end. There are so many more. So many tortured souls. So many children who died during the mutilations. So many other children who wished with all their hearts they had died. So many. So many unfortunate souls who had fallen into the grasp of the ringmaster. You know what else? The torture didn't end there. Being chopped up and turned into those things was probably the least painful in comparison to what they went through after. But considering you've made it this far, I'll doubt you'll stop listening to this. So I won't bother warning you again.
Do you know what happened if they made the smallest mistake? If they refused to do something for the show? Or even if they took a step with the wrong foot? Oh no, you haven't a clue. But see, that's because the ringmaster punished them away from straying eyes. They may catch the sinful axe. What is that punishment, you may ask? Acid. Yes. You heard me right. Acid. Take the smallest misstep while under the ringmaster's power you would have that burning acid poured on your burr body every last drop. You think that's bad? It gets worse. Not by much, but it does get worse. I know, it's hard to believe. As if the mutilation wasn't bad enough. And the acid? That's more than anyone should have to deal with human or otherwise, but mix the two and you get the worst pain of all, you rot. Yes, that's right, mix the mutilation and acid and voila, you're a living and breathing being, yet you're dying, being eaten inside out. I can't even begin to explain the horror and agony for what it feels like to have your body decay, being conscious during every single second of it. And that is why all those freaks want to die, even though they're dying anyway. It's so slow and so painful that it's unbearable. They want to die a fast death, even if it took a whole hour or three. That pain would be so much easier to endure than the hell they went through. But they don't try to kill themselves. No, not ever. As much as they want their suffering to end, they keep going. Why? Because the circus is so much fun. That's why. So much fun indeed. And that is the truth. Every word. Every single damned bloody word. How do I know this, you may ask? I am the Ringmaster. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment below. All feedback, good or otherwise, is always appreciated. If you have any creepy stories of your own, or have any topics that you would like me to cover, feel free to send them in via any of my social media. You can find all links to my social media in the description below. Until next time guys, make sure you lock your doors. Stay safe and I'll see you next video.